You think two-headed humans only exist in movies, don't you? Okay, okay, you might have heard about one or two cases of people with two heads in real life as well. Wondering how is this even possible? Don't worry, we've got you covered, because today we'll take a look at two-headed humans you won't believe exist. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video and check out our number one pick, because that girl will definitely make you rub your eyes in disbelief. Abby and Brittany Hensel Abby and Brittany were born with just one body between them. Let's start with Abby and Brittany Hensel, probably the most famous conjoined twins in the world. Born on March 7, 1990 in Minnesota, United States, these girls made headlines when they were just six years old and they were guests on The Oprah Winfrey Show. They have two heads and one torso, which is pretty rare in the conjoined twin community. Abby and Brittany also have two sets of organs above the waist. They each have their own heart, set of lungs, and their own stomach, but share reproductive organs. They also had to learn how to agree with each other on daily routines. Can you imagine doing things next to your sibling over and over again? Yeah, it was pretty hard for Abby and Brittany too at first, but eventually they came to understand each other and learned how to coordinate their movements. Abby controls the right side and Brittany the left one. In fact, they've learned such a level of cooperation that they even learned how to drive a car. Wow, impressive. The girls got their own TV special called Joined for Life and eventually got their own television show on TLC called simply Abby and Brittany. Tatiana and Krista Hogan. You girls are happy this morning. Oh, they're happy all the time. Are you? They are true medical wonders. Tatiana and Krista Hogan from Vancouver, British Columbia are joined craniopagus twins, meaning that they are joined at the top, back, and sides of their head. Their odds of surviving coming into this world weren't promising. In fact, they were given only a 20% chance of survival at birth. But the vigorous sisters managed to beat the odds. Tatiana is smaller than her sister, and her heart was working overtime to supply blood to Christiana's brain. Surgery was required to relieve the burden on Tatiana since this situation was causing her to have high blood pressure. Because their brains are conjoined as well, each twin can actually see through her sister's eyes. Seriously, how cool is that? Two-Headed Baby In 2011, a set of conjoined girls with two distinct functioning heads and one body were born in a hospital in southwest China. The twins also have two arms, two legs, two spines, and share other organs. How fascinating is that? They are united by their thorax, which excludes any possibility of separation. Both heads seem to be functioning fine since both babies were heard crying like regular babies. Usually, conjoined twins are attached by another part of the body, making this an extremely rare case. Interestingly, the parents of the pair didn't find out about the abnormality until two days before the birth. Ultrasound scans failed to reveal the two heads because the technicians were viewing the single embryo in profile. Shivanov and Shivram Sahu They suffer from one of the world's rarest medical conditions. 12-year-old conjoined twins from India, Shivanov and Shivram Sahu, are joined at the waist, with each boy controlling two arms and a single leg. The boys are quite a sensation in their village. Some villagers even go as far as to worship them, as they believe the boys are divine incarnations. Yes, people actually believe that. I am not kidding. Doctors think that they could be successfully separated, but the boys flat out refuse to even consider it. When getting ready in the morning, they help each other out by brushing each other's hair and helping the other tidy up. They even ride to school in a specially made tricycle. While one twin winds the pedal, the other steers. Wow, incredible. In addition to the emotional impact of being separated, it would be physically harder for Shivanov. Shivran would be able to retain both legs and live a normal life, while Shivanov would be left with no legs and would likely require full-time care. Two-Faced Baby We've seen some pretty unique children on this list, but this one takes the cake. I mean, come on, it's a baby with two faces. You don't see that every day, but you just have to wonder, is this baby even real? Well, if you think this baby isn't real, you are right. Yep, turns out two-headed baby isn't a baby at all. It's actually a reborn doll, a handmade artwork, 
created with the intention of adults buying them as collectible art. These dolls are also used as vehicles for therapy, comforting those who've lost children and bringing joy to the elderly. This doll in particular is the work of Stephanie Ortiz, a reborn artist, a collector from California. Wow, well done, Stephanie. Tress Johnson. If somebody wants to be Trey's friend, what should they do? They should come up and tell him hello. This cheerful young fellow named Tress suffers from diprosopus, an extremely rare congenital disorder whereby parts of all of the face are duplicated. Diprosopus literally means two faces in Greek. The condition is also known by its other name, craniofacial duplication. So what happens is, in the first few weeks of gestation, while the embryo is developing, there's an extra protein known as the Sonic the Hedgehog, or SHH protein. This causes a genetic mutation and causes duplication of the craniofacial and neurological features. Tress Johnson was born with a large cleft, two separate nostrils, an abnormally shaped head, cognitive delays, and suffers seizures. Doctors told his parents, Brandy and Joshua, that their son was unlikely to survive at almost every stage of his life. But Tress keeps proving the doctors wrong. Tress may look different on the outside, but he still likes to make friends, just like most people. Baby in Indonesia Unlike the previous two-faced baby on our list, this one is very much real. This baby, named Gilang Andika, from the city of Batam in Indonesia, was born with two faces, two brains, but just one body. Doctors failed to detect the deformity in ultrasound scans, and the boy's mother didn't feel anything unusual during pregnancy. Although he has just one body with two arms and two legs, Gilang is technically a conjoined twin. On his head, he has the face and brain of a twin that did not grow its own body in the womb because their mother's egg did not completely split in two during pregnancy. One Head, Two Lives We've already talked about Tatiana and Krista Hogan, conjoined craniopagus twins joined at the top, back, and sides of their heads. If you think that's unusual, just wait until you see these two boys from India who are joined just at the top of their heads. Yup, you heard that right. I mean, take a look at the video and see it for yourself. It's unbelievable. Pay close attention to the way they move. Now isn't that something? And before you ask, yes, this video is 100% real. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for y'all that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. <laughs> Try it. It really works. Carmen and Lupita Andrade When conjoined twins Carmen and Lupita Andrade were born, doctors warned their parents that they would only survive a few days at most. But the girls struggled and were able to beat the odds. They share a chest wall and are joined from there to their pelvis where their spines meet. Each has two arms, but only one leg, with Carmen controlling the right leg and Lupita the left one. As you can imagine, learning coordination was essential for these two. They also share some ribs, a liver, their circulatory system, as well as digestive and reproductive systems. Attending school is also a challenge, because Lupita requires special needs classes, while Carmen could be in a standard classroom. The twins also play the piano and drive a car. Although they have completely different personalities, they say they will never want to be separated and will live life as it comes. Maynar Magid Maynar Magid is an Egyptian girl who suffered from a rare condition that occurs when an embryo splits in the womb but does not develop fully into a twin. Her second head contained eyes and nose and a mouth but was not connected to any internal organs. Known as craniopagus parasiticus, the condition is one of the rarest forms of birth defects. Of course, this prevented Manar from leading a normal childhood, so her parents opted to give her surgery to remove the second head. The surgery was successful, but unfortunately this story has a tragic ending. Manar was released from the hospital, but soon after was readmitted in very poor condition. She had developed a serious brain infection and died soon afterward. Which one of these kids has fascinated you the most? Let me know in the comments below. I'll handpick and feature your comments in the next video. 
Look out for your comment. 